All right, guys, happy 26th of June. I have a box here of some old fireworks that I had stashed away, but I'm going to do my best to showcase all of it. There's also a few bottle rockets and things like that, but first I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here and put it on the ground so out of the box so you guys can see. All right, guys, so now I have all the fireworks. So first up for just some novelty type items, I have the happy lamp. I think I got this last 4th of July, but I'm not entirely sure. And then you gotta light it by the bottom right there. The fuse is kind of in there, stuck a bit, but it is there. And then this other one I think is another type of variation. In fact, I think it's the exact same one. It's just that this one's outside of the box. So yeah, it emits showers of sparks and it should be pretty cool when we test it later. This little bag right here of things is just really some miscellaneous shells and bees and other things that are just loose. So in here, yeah, we have the Excaliburs. I, I think this was the Platinum Excalibur shell. Now I don't remember exactly just how much different the shell looked compared to the Excalibur with without the Platinum Edition. And this is the 19th shell, if I'm not mistaken, by World Class Fireworks. And I don't actually have any tubes, so I'll have to get some later to test it. And then of course, we've got some ball shells. Now I know Cody B did a video on some fake ball shells versus real ones. And if I'm being honest, guys, these are pretty dang hard to push with my thumb. So I don't think that these are actually a canister or a little small canister with a spherical hemisphere around it. This is an actual sturdy ball shell, so I can't wait to try that later. I think they are out of separate boxes except for these two. This one is definitely different. Again, it's hard to tell if it's fake or not, but this one's pretty sturdy, so I think it's good. And it looks like there's this little bag here of random old firecrackers that I have. One's even got tape on it, which is pretty funny, guys, because I'm not sure if putting tape on them makes them louder. But as you guys can see here, it is tape with some masking tape of sorts. Honestly, I'm not sure how it changes the volume exactly. But yeah, and then right up next to here, guys, we got some other consumer firecrackers, which are always fun to light off. This bee firework should also be pretty cool. And it looks like a bigger one. Can't really tell. I've actually got a couple bee fireworks. These ones are pretty cheap, but if you compare the size of the tubes on these, they don't look a whole lot different as far as diameter. In fact, you can kind of see where the tube cuts off in there clay, so I'm not actually sure which one has more composition. Either way, guys, I'm really excited to try that. And next up in this little grab bag, we've also got a few bees and strobe pots. These were really fun to do. I've showcased these many times on my channel, and it really doesn't go without saying, guys, that small fireworks are so much fun because there's so many of them to enjoy. Also got a crackling barrel, and I really like these because they just take so much time. And yes, guys, from two years ago today, I still have some Patriot sticks. If you guys guys didn't see my firework shopping video that I did when I actually got these Patriot sticks to begin with, go ahead and check that out because it was a really good deal and I cannot wait to showcase these again. So with all the shells that I've got out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to some of the other assortments. And well, I guess I shouldn't exactly be saying assortments. Again, they really are just some grab bags of smaller things, which really doesn't go without saying that they are always enjoyable no matter how small they are. These are the Super Triangulos. They are a 50 milligram firecracker. Now they're actually pretty decent in size, but the only problem is that looks can be very deceiving. If I were to pinch this and open it up, there is actually a smaller firecracker in there. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of hard to use two hands. But there it is, guys. There is a smaller firecracker inside these things. Now, what's interesting is that when it actually has this casing around it, it gives it a different sound effect. Now, how that exactly works on the sound scale or by physics, I would imagine it's a deeper frequency just because there's a larger amount of volume inside it that it has to get around. But I'm not too sure. I'm actually really excited to showcase these to you guys later. And next up, guys, we have a pulpin smoke grenade and this is actually one of those ones where you pull off the white cap and there is a pull pin on it now i don't want to do it right now although i could it would just get this room all messy and that's what's crazy to think is it's only a pull pin away to seeing all the smoke in it this is by sky bacon fireworks and if i remember correctly i believe i got these smoke grenades from pyro direct so i will put a link to them in the description and it also wouldn't surprise me if it is over a year and a half old so stay tuned guys for a video on purchasing fireworks online legally as well as me showcasing the smoke grenade. Now I understand a lot of you are probably wanting to see more firecrackers but there really isn't too much to show here except that I have some of the TP3s that came in the quacker pack and these firecrackers guys are amazing as always. You guys have probably seen them on my channel so much by now at least in some of the older videos that I did and they are very entertaining and fun to mess around with. Just on another scale of firecracker guys next up we've got the outlaw buster firecrackers and to be honest guys i'm not 
not sure how good these type of firecrackers are. There are so many different packages and labels and you really never know which one is gonna be the best. Or at least I should be saying out of all of these. Next up, I have a strip of Venom firecrackers and these are the titanium 100 pack maximum one and a half one and a half inch load maximum flash crackers from venom fireworks and guys i have just got loads of these things because they actually came in a brick and i will try to search for that same brick this year to show to all of you but it was an amazing deal i remember getting it for probably only 20 bucks and i was really happy about that stay tuned for an upcoming video of when i demo these and let me know what you guys think and yes of course guys we've got the black cat firecrackers as well these are the ones that go up really quickly and i enjoy Enjoy these so much. As a kid, I always remember putting these next to objects and seeing how they retained from the damage. Lots of fun stuff there. And then next up, we've got the Shogun Firecracker, which again, guys, I'm not too sure how the scale really compares, just because different brands can really make a big difference. Either way, I will do a video demoing these three different packages of firecrackers here. And to say which one is the winner, I'm not honestly quite sure, but these are pretty wide variety type firecrackers that you can find at just about any stand you go to. This one's pretty unique. I remember getting at Boom City and I actually really like the size of it. Comparing these up guys to a bigger firecracker like right here, it makes you wonder just how much louder the smaller ones are gonna be, especially if they're smaller, but then looking at the bigger one here. Again, guys, I will have a video demoing these. I remember them being pretty good last fourth, so stay tuned for that video, guys. If you guys thought for one second that that is all the fireworks I have to show you, then take a look at all of this. Now, guys, this is where it gets crazy because I have a lot of fun little novelty items here, as well as some red and green single Shots. More of the crackling barrel fireworks, which I absolutely love these to death. I'm gonna set them right here for now. As well as tons of smoke grenades that I just cannot get enough of. I'm sure as you guys know, as well as I do, that smoke grenades are so much fun. And I think a lot of the reason for that is because they're cheap and it's very hard to get hurt from them. Playing in the smoke from smoke grenades, guys, just really doesn't get old, even as an adult. And if that wasn't great enough for you, I can't wait to try the pull pin smoke grenade. Now I got confused reading this title because it says orange label and I guess that's just because of the wrapping. Now if for some unknown reason you guys don't know what these do, I cannot wait to show all of you guys later just how well these things compare right here to the other type of crackling balls. Which yes guys, I have a ton of these lying around and they are so much fun. If my eyes don't be deceiving me guys, I've got some more bottle rockets in here which I think these are my first bottle rockets I'm actually showcasing in this video. These are the whistle moon travelers and they are as fun as always to light off now i have some more bottle rockets in this bag here that i'll partly showcase a little bit towards the end but keep in mind guys it's not a ton of bottle rockets and as much as i'd like to have a pack of them lying around i'll be doing my absolute best this fourth for you guys to show off what these rockets can do and again no matter how small the fireworks are what matters is that they're cheap and you have a lot of them to light off and then looking within this bag a bit more guys we have a ton of bottle rockets and I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with all of these yet. But guys, don't get me wrong, bottle rockets, no matter how small these bottle rockets are compared to the older strobe rockets I did, you cannot forget how fun and entertaining these things are right here. I don't know about you guys, but this makes me really excited right here. I'm gonna set these over here and let's go ahead and move on. Sitting in this corner over here, guys, we have a backpack assortment, which I would really like to do a video on demonstrating how good and worth it the assortment is, which I know it's pretty hard to read, guys, but it says $25 right there. And just going through all the stuff in this bag, wow, it seems like there's actually a lot of different fireworks in here. And I cannot wait to try these. Now, remembering that this is an assortment, you may often think that a lot of the same branded firecrackers and fireworks are in these types of assortments. But as a matter of fact, sometimes guys, you can get lucky and get different types of fireworks that you just cannot find anywhere else. Now, whether or not that's the case with this assortment, I'm already starting to see a unique type of fountain called Large Golden Flower Fountain. And this actually looks really cool. I can't wait to show that off to you, as well as the other fountain in here called Large Friendship Fountain. So with these fountains being our only type of fountain fireworks, that's something to put on my list for this year. Stay tuned for that demo, guys, later, and I cannot wait to show this off. Now this bag right here, guys, doesn't have too much else in it, except for a couple firecrackers and bottle rockets. But if I look real carefully, guys, I think this was some stuff that I actually 
actually found on the res that just hadn't either been lit off or it was just entirely lying on the ground and I picked it up without even thinking about the condition it was in. Now this is the cluster missile Saturn missile battery, but if you guys happen to look right there, the fuse is actually cut off. So there probably isn't a way to revive it, but it's just amusing to me to think that this actually still has composition in it and maybe I can get it working. Now as disappointing as finding fireworks on the ground or trash can be, there are as well as good condition fireworks that you can sometimes find lying around at different shoot sites that people go to, as well as this interesting looking mortar, which I probably do not recommend lighting off, but it is quite interesting to me nonetheless, the type of braiding style that's in that. Here's another canister shell that I'll probably, oh, that looks like, oh, it looks like the cap actually came off this one, guys. Well, now that I've managed to fix the cap a little bit, just kind of looking at in the light here, it looks like this does red, green to brocade, crown, mine, to red, green to blue, brocade, brown. So this actually, just by the title of it, guys, has a mine to it. So I cannot wait to see what that does right there. And last but not least, guys, we have a ton of different bottle rockets right here, and they're all kind of spilling out of my hands. But oh my goodness, guys, I cannot believe how many different bottle rockets there are. And this kind of stash right here, guys, no matter what it is lacking in terms of big canister shell fireworks, gets me really excited because of all the small stuff. Stay tuned, guys, for some more videos that I'm going to try to post this year. Now, I can't say if it's going to be a large window of time that I can upload or if it'll just be a casual few videos that I do. But as always, guys, I will try to do my best, just as I've said in my announcement video a couple days ago of me coming back to YouTube. But I'm definitely not making any guarantees, guys, because this fourth could be a little interesting for me as fireworks have become illegal to light off within the area that I live. So I will probably be on the Indian Reservation for a few days to light some fireworks off and stay tuned for a couple demos that I will do, as well as actually purchasing some more fireworks again. I cannot wait, guys. You are the best. And also, in case you guys are wondering, please don't mind the top ramen that's sitting back here. It's just some stuff to munch on during my day while I'm working long hours. I think that just about wraps up this video, guys, but there's one more cake here called Smoke Dragon that I forgot to showcase. Now, I actually believe this is a daytime firework because there is the part of smoke on it and it's called Smoke Dragon, so go figure. And I cannot wait to see what that does right there. All right, guys, stay tuned for the 4th of July and I will see you guys next time. And remember to always be safe with fireworks, no matter the cost.